What's up guys, it's Ben here, and welcome to my very first episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about me and my team's experiences at Brevard Distance Runners Camp. So, to give you guys a bit of context, Brevard Distance Runners Camp is a running camp up in Brevard, North Carolina, just right outside of Asheville, that my team has been going to for over 20 years now, since before 2000. We pretty much run trails for about one week or two weeks, depending on what we're planning on doing, and we just, aside from that, we do like, activities for team bonding and other workouts. It's a really fun experience for team bonding, and here, let's jump right into the vlog. So Monday was our first full day at camp. On Monday, my team and I ran on a trail called Guyon Farms, which is about six miles long for the long route and about four miles long for the short route. I ran six miles with three other teammates of mine. It, it took about a bit less than 50 minutes. It, um, we ended up going a bit over six miles on uh, my watch. And I'll put the run up on my Strava right here. It's on a trail called Guyon Farms. And later that day, uh, we went thrifting for dodgeball clothes. It's a team tradition of ours to go thrifting for dodgeball for dodgeball outfits that are supposed to be like really ridiculous. Um, people end up buying like crazy stuff. Last year I had pink suspenders. This year I found like a green fleece jacket that I cut the sleeves off of. And that pretty much rounded off our day. All right, Justin, how's the first run at Brevard? Oh yeah, first, um, the first run um, was pretty fun. Uh, I wasn't expecting it because I'm pretty out of shape. So I'm resting up so we can do our exercises for the day. All right, sick. All right, now let's, let's go check with some other people. First run at Brevard, thoughts? Uh, pretty sore now, so it was a little tough. All right. Maybe up. Yeah, what you doing right now? Stretching. Sick. Rolling out. Carlos, thoughts on first run at Brevard? First run at Brevard? Yeah. We chilling, it's fine. Um, I don't know, I enjoy it. I'm not doing much, I'm not doing much right now, I'm just kind of bored. Sick. Mm -hmm. Now we get to Tuesday. So on Tuesday, my team and I ran on a trail called Hooker Falls. I'll put it up right here on my Strava. And Hooker Falls is either a five mile route for the short route or six miles for the long route. I did six miles. Um, I went out with the starting group for six miles, and then I got dropped midway through the run. They ended up picking up the pace a bit while I was just uh, trotting along at my casual eight minute pace. And then, so at four and a half miles, we cross, this, cross a road um, that's pretty busy, so I had to be pretty careful with that. And then we get to pretty much one and a half miles, which the last quarter of a mile is all downhill. And then we get to a beautiful waterfall. My team and I, we all went in the in the river and then we took some photos, pretty much enjoyed a little ice bath because it was really cold. And that pretty much wrapped our, out our day. We did afternoon activities like we do every day. And then aside from that, um, we just chilled with our team, played some cards, played some spike ball, and that was that. Now it's Wednesday. So Wednesday is Avery Creek Day. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So Avery Creek Day, to give you a little preface, is an all uphill 5K that we do. And it's a race between the guys on our team. A girl ran it, she ended up winning the race, but I'll get to that later. Um, so it's a race that we all do as a team, normally in the middle of the um, camp, week of camp. So that's what we did on Wednesday. So it's an all uphill 5K, like I said before. We did a one mile warm up, and then at around like 7.30, I believe, we started the race. I started out pretty slow, about like eight minute pace, while three of, two of our guys with one pacer went out pretty quickly the first mile, um, not knowing how steep it would get in the next two miles. So that was a bit of a um, blunder by them, lucky for me. So they went out pretty fast, and then around like in the second mile, I started to catch up to them a bit. Didn't pass them, but I would see them. Um, on the rate and during the race and then around midway through the third mile I started passing them and The thing was the one girl who was racing Morgan who's probably one of the best runners in the state of Florida right now 
speed assault. She was just cruising, started out pretty slow like me, pretty smart on her part. And then she just held that pace pretty well. And she ended up running at 26.30 while I ran at 26.54. So it was a pretty close race between us, um, her being first, me being second. And that rounded up that the race. Some of the people who wanted to add a bit of mileage, including me and Morgan, we ended up running downhill for the 5K as well to get back to where the um, our transportation was, back to the camp. So we ended up doing about a seven mile a seven mile day, uh, which is pretty good, pretty good mileage. And that rounded up the morning, and we had camp champs later that night. Um, started off really strong. We won the relay race pretty much. We beat every other team, and then we were about to win musical chairs when we got an unlucky DQ, which I think the camp should personally they should personally re uh, review that because that was a bogus claim. And then we just got blown out in the dance competition because we were not able to do what we wanted to do. That involved backflipping and we were not able to do backflips. So that rounded out the night. We ended up like losing camp champs pretty much. And then now we're just waiting for Thursday. All right, so here is a montage of the Avery Creek finishing. Right now in fourth place, we have Carlos. He's about to finish the race. So far, it's been Morgan, Caden, and I finishing. Morgan first, me second, Caden third. And Carlos is about to finish fourth. Let's go. Now, coming in fifth, we have James. He's been training throughout the summer to set a PR on Avery Creek, which he has accomplished. Coming in 6th place, we have our XTPXC runner Thurston, who's going to FSU for college. He's coming in 6th place, beating last year's time, and achieving one of his goals. In 7th place, we have the flying freshman, freshman Justin. He's been running throughout the summer, waiting for this day, and he set his goals for next season. In 8th place, we have Fletcher Dean. He's been training throughout the summer as well just like all of us and he's also set a pr in, pr in avery creek so far nobody has walked one step on avery creek and everyone's setting prs in 10th place we have lincoln lincoln's also been running throughout the summer while lifting weights and recently he and his band toured throughout the country good for him he's coming in 10th place beating last year's record and setting some goals for this season now, not even breaking a sweat, we have the GOAT Coach Aider about to finish Avery Creek. Wrapping it up, we have Finn. Finn's been waiting to run. He also does pole vault and high jump. So let's see what he does this season. So Thursday. Thursday was long run day, or Art Lobe. Art Lobe is about an eight mile um, trail that takes you uphill, up a mountain, and then right back down. Through a lot of switchbacks on the downhills, and the downhills are also pretty steep, so you gotta watch your footing and stuff. So it's eight miles, like I mentioned before, but com using the hills and factoring that in, it converts into about 10 miles on just flat ground. So that was about a 10 mile long run that day. So it was an all uphill run for the first half, and then there's a cutoff at about three miles, and I made the cutoff, I barely did, and then they extended the cutoff. Um, so I was going to make it either way, and then there's more of a climb after the cutoff, and then once we got to the very top, we were informed by a pointer or one of the JCs, uh, junior counselors. Uh, they told us that we were at the top of the mountain and that we only had downhill left. They lied a few times, so I, had a few more climbs after they mentioned that. So after I actually made it to the top, um, I just ran back down through steep switchbacks, having to kind of guard myself on trees and stuff like that. So I was like catching myself, kind of holding on to them for as long as I could. And then I finally got to a point where it was all flat. And then I caught up to another guy named Ben. So we started talking and then little did we know that we had the same name until the very end of the run. So that was Art Lobe. Uphills kind of sucked. And 
Later on Thursday night, we went to Cookout, which is a fast food place. They have really good milkshakes. That's what we went there for. And I got an Oreo milkshake. One of my teammates tried the watermelon milkshake and they regretted it. They ended up having to buy another one, uh, much to their demise. And I wrapped up Thursday. I went to bed at about uh, probably 11 to 10, 10 30 to 11. And then Friday was our last full day of camp. Also, by the way, my Art Lobe Strava is right here. So check that out. So the journey's almost over. We're on our last full day of camp, Friday. And Friday is the day of our graduation run, or John's Rock. It's pretty rooty on the trails and stuff. So we ran and walked it a lot. We walked a lot of the uphills, especially when it got rooty and kind of um, not super safe to run on. And then once we got to like flatter, um, like not super rooty terrain, we started running again. So that was about six miles, a bit less than that. I put it up right here on my Strava. And we had to stop twice because of bears. The first time we stopped, we were like, I don't even think three miles into the run. And we were held up for like 25 minutes, just staying still and silent as sound as possible. And then we got it, then we got back to running, uh, which kind of was tough because my legs had tightened up on tightened up and all. And I bet the same happened with my team. So my legs loosened up though eventually in the run. Like they loosened back up and then we saw another bear, much to my dislike. And we had to stop for like a lot less time, like I'd say five, between five and 10 minutes. And um, we got back running. And then within like not even 10 minutes of that, we were right on the rock. And the rock is like a beautiful overlook of the mountains. It's like just sitting on like a rock and just drops off right into the mountains. And it was a really pretty view. We got some pictures and stuff. I did not have that by the way. And then we headed back and we ended up getting to a flat trail to end our run, which I, I would say is about like one and a half miles maybe. And that ended our final run at Brevard. Uh, our day was pretty much over. All we had was a graduation dance right after going to town for dinner. And then we were packing our bags right at 5.30 in the morning, um, getting ready to go back home to Florida. So that was our time for Bard. It was a really fun experience. Might be my second year there. Um, different from, it was different from last year because we did not do as much activities aside from running in 2021. So my expectations were different, but now going back into like more of a regular year for Bard, I can't wait to be there next year. Thank you guys so much for watching this video about my team and I's experience at Brevard Distance Runners Camp. Stay tuned for ne the next video and be sure to like, leave a like and subscribe. Have a good one.